Hello everyone, welcome to Investing with a Difference. So today we are going to learn one of the most important question about our accounts and I think you have been asking, I have been asking and uh, I think when you buy a EOS account and if you are using it, sometimes your RAM runs out, sometimes you are consuming your RAM without your knowledge. Uh, but now you don't have to worry about that because now you are going to learn where is your RAM. That means where is your RAM being consumed and uh, Diffuse, uh, which is a tool being developed by EOS Canada, a lot of dApps use it for a lot of uh, various utilities. Uh, they have released a RAM tracker, so it's called RAM Usage Tracker. Uh, so what you need to do is you go there and you can enter your EOS account name. So for example, let me put investing with a difference. It uh, searches through the transaction right from the day one when the block one uh, the block one of EOS that means the Genesis block and including your account creation and so on and re RAM related transaction it can search up to 100 transactions so if you are using 100 it may take some time uh, because I already did the search so it comes brings out the result very fast for me but if you do it uh, first time so be ready to wait for a few seconds now this is a great representation of uh, where my RAM is going uh, so let's look uh, closely. Uh, so this big bubble you are seeing, this is basically your account uh, storage in EOS IO. So this is something you cannot avoid. Everything else which you are seeing here is basically an action which you took. So you can see a lot of uh, air grabs I did. Some air grabs take more than others. It depends on each app, how much memory they are using. But uh, you see one app which I had forgotten, this was Monster EOS. I must have used it like in early days. This was one of the first app which came around and I must have tried it. And I think I have never really maintained my account here and I have these monsters lying around which are dead and they are consuming memory. So I can always go delete these monsters, release the RAM. So this is like very useful tool. Uh, similarly, like I can see that I have uh, some of this RAM I cannot avoid because I'm registered as a proxy. So I have added a lot of information. Uh, then there are forums that is referendums. I have created referendums. I have voted on them. That takes a lot of RAM and then the tokens. But I think uh, it, this is one way I think you can learn at least about where your RAM is going. Uh, secondly, you can possibly re release the RAM based on each of these apps. It's not necessary that you will be able to release the RAM, but many of these apps uh, can help you release the token, uh, release the RAM, and you can go and uh, try to do that. So again, I think uh, this is a great tool. I'm very excited because uh, this is something which uh, was the biggest question. Many of the people have been asking, especially as you interact with more and more DApps. Sometimes the DApps are putting the burden on you, and you always uh, you don't know always uh, what happens to your RAM, and suddenly you run out of RAM, and your transactions are failing. Uh, in either way, I think my recommendation is always keep enough ram ram is pretty cheap nowadays in eos world even if you buy like a 0.5 eos worth of extra ram this will go a long way in using your dApps so but next time when you're wondering where your ram is gone or where is it consumed do not forget to use this diffuse tool so thanks a lot to eos canada and diffuse team for bringing this tool to us for everyday user of eos to learn more about their accounts so if you like this video, do uh, subscribe to our channel or uh, share this video with others so that people can understand EOS better and better. And uh, we will keep bringing you some of this interesting content as we learn more about EOS. Thank you. Bye-bye.